I'm here in Oakland, just across the bay from San Francisco, to um, see Harborside Dispensary, which is the biggest medicinal cannabis dispensary in the world. I'm going to find out how it all works. Hello. How you hey. Doing? All right. Nice to see you, James. Nice to see you. How Welcome are you? to Harborside Health Center. Thank you very much. I'd like you to walk me through as if I'd gained my, my license and I came here. What would, what would happen? What would be my first visit? What would okay. I step this way after you've been qualified as a new patient mm -hmm. and then you would uh, be welcome to come out here to the reception desk at reception yeah, we just so. make sure that the patient has been entered into our database as a verified patient we limit our patients to two ounces of cannabis per week that sounds purposes. quite a lot to me anyway. it is quite a lot but for patients who are very seriously ill who are using cannabis to cook with we think that that's an appropriate amount right let's have a look James, uh, please meet Jason. Jason Hello, is uh, one of our very top patient advisors here, and he will help walk you through the process of selecting the very best medicine. Okay, thank you very All much. Right. Hello, Jason. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you doing? I'm James. How are you doing? Hey, James. Good to meet you. Mm -hmm. So, if I came to you as an insomnia sufferer, what would you say? How, how would you well, go for insomnia, we would tend to go for indicas. This is one of our top shelf grades. We've got several different grades of medicine. Um, so that patients of all income levels will find something suitable for them. So that's pineapple kush. Pineapple uh, kush. And this is... Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's pungent. Yeah. <laughs> so that's 3.5 grams for $60. Mm -hmm. so that, that, and this is something you may recommend someone who's got insomnia. Exactly. So we will now go from the uh, public area of the facility into the private secure area. Here we go. This is where we have little baby cannabis plants. Okay. Whoa, well, there we go. <laughs> here we are. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. Well, I'm going to guess you've got about 2,000 plants in here then. We provide these cuttings to our patients so that they can cultivate their own cannabis, so they don't have to depend on coming into a dispensary. We will sell these to patients, mm -hmm. and patients will then plant them and uh, cultivate the cannabis. Hopefully, they cultivate at least enough for their own purposes, and maybe a little bit more that they can bring back into us. <laughs> What's going on here is uh, we have a patient who is presenting medicine to us mm -hmm. um, uh, and my staff first uh, will put that medicine through a two-step quality control process. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. Could you tell me what you're sort of doing there? Um, just taking a look at the medicine, making sure that there's nothing, um, no foreign objects inside of it, no, nothing like a gray mold or a black mold. And what's your opinion of, of this medicine here? This is a really, really nice medicine. This is actually called banana. Uh, it's got a real fruity smell to it, if you want to take a smell. Uh, yeah, sure. It's <coughs> like bananas. It does indeed. Oh, I'm... Okay, there's a little <laughs> banana in there. <laughs> it definitely has a fruit salad smell to it. Uh, so I just snap it in half. Okay. There oh, yeah, you can hear the crack, yep. and well, nothing okay. really fell off it, so that's good. Yep, and if it was too dry, you would see some fall off the side. Right. It would just be a little bit of powder falling off the side. So okay. that's that's what we're looking for not to have. Right. Another part of our uh, quality control procedures here, um, if they're necessary, is the use of an electronic microscope. So is, this, is this particularly good what we're seeing here? Is this... We can see a good number of these amber heads in here, and uh, peak maturity would be about 30% of those heads to be amber, 30% cloudy, and 30% clear. So this is a nice, uh, well-matured sample. How did you get into this? Um, I, I got really lucky. I was always into the medicine. Um, when I was younger, it helped me with my insomnia and things like that. Um, I was arrested in a few different states across the country. I was just tired of fighting for what I believed in and serving time for what I believed in, so I moved out here to be able to legally grow my own cannabis without um, risking jail time. It's been a fascinating visit to the Harborside Health Centre but it's a long way from where we are in the UK, where cannabis is still very much illegal.